Hi, this is Highbridge uh, Motorhomes Devon, Mar Devon Branch, Devon Branch, Devon Branch even, uh, on a uh, beautiful uh, early June 2023 day. It's um, absolutely cracking flags as they say up north down in South Devon today and uh, we've got this absolute red hot two trot superb van just come in it's literally i've just parked it on the forecourt and i'm so excited to have it we're doing a quick video so it's a 2021 one owner from new six meter wild axe constellation based on the manual citroen this is one that i personally sold new and uh, we've just taken it in in part exchange against a bigger coach built van so you decided to go a different direction it's pretty much immaculate it's only done three and a bit thousand miles and price on this one is 59.95 which is a lot of money but motorhomes are a lot of money and a new one of these today would cost you oh on the fiat x8 with the manual gearbox with the sort of options this one's got around about top of me at 76 77 thousand something like that so you're saving 16 17 grand uh, you're getting a van straight away, or within reason straight away, uh, and uh, not having to wait for six months, and then finding your price has gone up twice while you're waiting, and then have to cancel your chassis. So, uh, so it's a very, very, very desirable thing, and it's not just sales speak, but this should sell almost straight away. Anything van conversion-wise, people tend to be upsizing from VWs, downsizing from coach belts, and they're all meeting together at these. Now we sold loads of these in six meter form, not many other dealers did, they tend to go for the XLs, but for me the Constellation is probably better as a six meter van. Now because this is a 21 with a manual gearbox, it's based on the Citroen Relay chassis, ostensibly the same as the Fiat, but it doesn't have the X8 electronic power steering or the, the um, bigger head unit for the stereo, but they're built on the same production line. Uh, same engine as the new one, it's 2.2140 Euro 6 would add blue, and uh, because it's before everything went grey, it's in this gorgeous uh, Lego blue or Lake blue metallic, which is absolutely stunning. So you've got full colour coordination as standard, you've got LED day daytime running lights, which you don't get on the Fiat. Um, 16 inch Citroen alloy wheels in silver, uh, black factory fitted, Fiamma F80 awning that isn't factory fitted because I think we fitted that because at the time Wild X couldn't get hold of any awnings. Flush fit, tinted windows, very, very good looking. Of course, all Wild Axes are built to be grade three fully winterized. So you've got underslung fresh and wastewater tanks, but they are heated and insulated as standard. So this one's got the three-way big fridge freezer. So these are the vents for it. That'll run off gas when you're not hooked up from your underslung gas tank. Mains electric when you are hooked up and 12 volt off your alternator for when you're driving. Coming round to the back, so we've not got a tow bar or a bike rack for any bike carriage. We could, of course, fit those for you, but we've got rear reversing sensors and a factory fitted high level reversing camera that's factory fitted by Citroën. Opening up the back doors, let me just open up them. So it's just come in, but it is in, in nigh on perfect condition. It's an absolute credit to the previous owner. So you get double glazed windows all the way around, not glass ones with tinting film like certain Cotswold based manufacturers use. You've got concertina blinds and flyer screens which are quieter and more adaptable. This has got the optional grey finish and the grey striped upholstery out of the two. This was by far the most popular colour particularly with the blues. It's a bit high level storage and your uh, Dometic chemical set toilet dump point there which is also ostensibly the same as the Thetford cassette toilet you'll see in most fans but it has a ceramic toilet bowl as standard kitchen is amazing but we'll come back into that on the inside coming around the offside the driver's side we've got main hook up this one's also got 120 watt factory fitted solar panel up on the roof you probably can't see from down here but that will charge both the engine and the leisure battery as standard fresh water fill up point here it's I can't remember the 90 litres, a good size underslung fresh and wastewater tanks. Uh, true flu for your Truma gas or mains electric heating system there. And fill up point for your underslung gas tank. So that gas tank will either be 20 or 25 kilos. Again, these, these COVID built vans, um, the supply chain was awful for everything so some had 20 litre tanks some had 25 both are way bigger than your gas capacity in a gas lockered van and of course you can fill these up in europe and at many places across the uk and if you're not using your heating on gas you're on main hook up you're only using your gas for cooking these will last you years potentially so we've got heated electrically adjustable short arm manual fold mirrors 
Remis Constantina blinds and fly screen blinds are standard on the front. Leather gear stick and steering wheel also standard, auto stop start standard, the 140 brake engine. This little doobry here tells me that it's got an Outsmart the Thief Faction Category 1 alarm and a mobiliser on, which is great because you'll need that for insurance. So we've got leather gear stick steering wheel, we've got five and a half inch Tom Tom sat nav factory fitted from Citroen with the reversing camera built into it. They're really easy to use. It's a little bit dated, but it does a fine job. It's European mapping as well. Uh, Aircom, cruise control, speed limiter, bottle, drinks holders in the middle, passenger airbag. That is all good. It's got all the cab spec. So coming to the inside of it. So these front lounge van conversions had a massive resurgence in popularity. So when van conversions, pre-2006, most van conversions with a toilet and shower with this sort of layout, front lounge, end kitchen and bathroom. Uh, and then in 2007, when the 7 metre van was launched, people realised, oh, now that's bigger, we can do an end lounge, we can do a split front and rear lounge, we can do a fixed bed at the back, we can do a side bed, we can do bunk beds. And I think people for a little while forgot about the front lounges. They've always sold, but maybe there were less of them out there or they were probably swamped by the other layouts. But what we have noticed, uh, particularly since COVID, since 2020, people want with this sort of van, they want to still go on holiday, but also go out for the day. And if you're sitting in it with a nice view, you want to bring the outside inside. And that's what a front lounge does that no other sort of layout can. Uh, and also you're making your best use of your cab space uh, by integrating your swivel cab seats into it, which you aren't with an end lounge. So they've had a massive resurgence. Let's say we did really well with the six meter ones. Um, super desirable use, one of the first ones we've had back in a while, this in furnace too, and it is a cracker. So as you come in the door, you've got this huge bit of floor space here, which is great for dogs or taking a washing machine to the tip or um, just whatever you want to do with it. And then you've got a big long side sofa, twin swivel cab seats and one forward facing seat belted seat. Now for those who need two seat belted seats, you've got the uh, Pulsar, which is either five or now 5.4 metres, or you can order a Constellation 4, which has two of these seats basically. Uh, or if you want a brand new van or an automatic, we can order you a new one of these if you want to spend 80 grand or so and wait a little while. Uh, if you don't, buy this one. So you've got two tables with three potential locations. Table themselves live, I think, uh, one behind there, one in the wardrobes, don't hold me to that. You can put two there to make one bigger table, or put one there as a coffee table. Slide out drawer under there. Storage for your leisure batteries under here. They come with one as standard. This might have two. I normally told people just to have one on the solar panel, because that will last for days, in fairness. That gives you half of that is storage. Your gas and electric boiler with heating is underneath of there, and blows through all of these ducts in various places. And uh, you've got Wild Axe's trademark sliding cupboard doors which i love people think these rattle they don't they're better than normal cupboard doors i think they're super um storage over the cab which is really deep i can't touch the back of that so your bedding can be stuffed up there and then bed wise you've got a little zip in extension there to make this into a longer single bed this will do the same this will slide out all the way up to there don't use the cab seat as part of it for another six foot single bed or you can bring this together and make a transverse five foot ten by six foot double bed or even go lengthways with the middle infill. So many, many bed options. I'm going to close the door now, but you'll see your uh, fly screen door there, which was standard. And massive side windows, which is one of my things I like about wild axes. So we've got some light switches and your tank heater switch for the winter up there. Stop your water freezing up. A very simple CBE control panel that you'll see in a lot of motorhomes. It's dead easy. Um, button for each job. Very, very simple. This has got the later LED strip lights which came in and replaced the more dated spots for 2021. Then we've got plenty of plug points. So you've got double USB and a mains there. Another big opening window. Loads and ranks of high level locker space. And look at this kitchen. So this van is six meters and it's got a kitchen that's better than almost any other motorhome I can think of full stop. If you go for the XL, the 6.34 meter one, you add an extra foot to the kitchen there and you double the width of the wardrobe basically. For me, I don't think you really need that. I'd rather have the six meter, but um, 
if you prefer even more kitchen but I think this is plenty of kitchen this in fairness to it so you got four drawers put that thing there which might catch the carpet oh god because it's barely been used take that. yeah we're on the right way around yeah shelving there for your tins two massive things there we've got a microwave up here which is one of the really cool domestic ones that don't have a turny table so they're quieter huge three-way fridge freezer that's all fridge that's pull out fridge for your drinks underneath and then a decent sized freezer at the top and then double wardrobes so this has got the iNet option which gives you uh, the ability to control your heating from your phone if you sign up to an app I never wanted to do that your table legs are in there and underneath are there there's another wardrobe with your upper table leg uh, that's your centre tension in pole uh, winder for your awning nice deep sink look at that it's got its original washing up bowl and chopping board I didn't even realise I came from one of them actually I forgot about that and washing up bowl and clip on drainer combi oven and grill three gas burners because it runs off the gas from the tank and a super duper washroom again with a sliding door to save space two storage cupboards shower tap is separate from your kitchen tap which is better and that domestic toilet with a ceramic toilet bowl so she's an absolute cracker this this will sell very very quickly so we are hybrid motorhomes devon branch we're not the somerset branch we're the devon branch we are the wild expression we love them you can give us a call quick as you can if you want it if you're interested 01626 832 792 then hit the option for motorhome sales which i think is number two Leave us a message if we're out here with customers or give us a call direct at 07432 662 558. Come and see us at Newton Abbott, Devon. We're just off the A38, literally on it. That's the main road, dual carriageway after the M5 ends between Exeter and Plymouth. See us at highbridgecaravans.co.uk website or just give us a call and ask us about this absolutely marvellous 2021 5995 6 metre Wild Axe Constellation. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <music>